Singapore, the Malaysian ringgit touched a more than one year high against the US dollar on Friday, November 17, extending its year to date rebound on the back of a slide in the greenback and better than expected economic growth numbers. The currency rose to 4.1563 versus the US dollar, earlier in the day its highest level since October 2016 before last trading at 4.1640, according to Bloomberg data. The ringgit, which hit a near 19-year low of 4.4980 on January 4, has gained almost 7.2% thus far this year. This marks a turnaround from its performance over the past two years, when it was among Asia's worst performing currencies due to a toxic combination of threats slowing economic growth, fluctuations in the price of crude oil, depleting foreign exchange reserves and a protracted political crisis over 1MDB. Most of these concerns, however, seem to have cooled off this year. Gross domestic product, GDP, released at noon showed Malaysia's economy expanded 6.2% in the third quarter from a year earlier, driven by domestic demand and strong exports. This beats a Reuters poll forecast of 5.8% and marks the country's fastest growth in more than three years. Data from Bank Negara Malaysia, BNM, also showed current account surplus in the third quarter widening to 12.5 billion ringgit, up from 9.6 billion ringgit in the April to June period. Meanwhile, oil prices have made a U-turn since June, with U.S. crude oil last seen around 55 U.S. dollars and 36 cents a barrel and Brent crude at 61 U.S. dollars and 23 cents per barrel. This bodes well for the third biggest economy in Southeast Asia, which is the only net exporter of oil among Asia's major economies and the second largest liquefied natural gas exporter in the world. We estimate for every 10 US dollar increase in the oil price this would widen the trade surplus by about 0.4% of GDP, helping to keep the current account in a comfortable surplus, which now stands at around 2.3% of GDP, noted a report from Nomura Research. Also buoying the ring its rebound is a limp US dollar, which DBS foreign exchange strategist Philip Wee described as the biggest surprise of the year. The U.S. economy has been doing quite well but this year, the U.S. dollar has been oversold, said Mr. Wee, citing uncertainties over the Trump administration's policies and political headlines. Could the rebound last? Speaking at the GDP briefing earlier in the day, BNM Governor Muhammad Ibrahim described the currency's rebound as a mirroring of economic strength and that it is more reflective of financial flows in the domestic market. Ringgit levels are a reflection of our economic strength, and there is more liquidity in the market now and it is not influenced by speculative flows anymore, Reuters quoted the central bank chief as saying. Last week, BNM also said in its policy statement that it may consider reviewing the current degree of monetary accommodation given the strength of global and domestic macroeconomic conditions. This is to ensure the sustainability of the growth prospects of the Malaysian economy. This shift in guidance by the central bank towards a hawkish tilt signaled a possible rate hike in 2018.